Hello and welcome back to Hoovian Espresso and it seems like it has been an eternity but it is finally here. Um, the latest Doctor Who Blu-ray release, Doctor Who The Collection Season 24 and uh, there we go. Fits right in right there and it's just arrived literally like a few seconds ago. I raced up here because I've literally been waiting, pacing around my room for this to arrive. Um, I do have to say there were, well I don't think it's necessarily fault with the blu-ray before we get into the unboxing i would just want to say a couple of things about amazon um which have not been the best people to deliver these when zoom shut down like i ordered season eight from H B because uh sold out on amazon and i mean i i was a bit nervous about ordering it from amazon to be honest and i mean i was proved right because this was supposed to come out yesterday and if it arrived yesterday my video would have been up a bit earlier presumably but because Amazon delayed it, they got their stock late. I don't know why, but they didn't tell us, like, in advance. They literally... So I saw someone on Twitter had to literally message them before we got any information about it. So, I mean, not the greatest on part of Amazon. And I'm lucky because this only arrived the next day. A lot of people are having to wait till August or July to get it, which is just a bit, like, appalling, to be honest. And then there's copies of people's arriving with the disc tray falling out and a massive dent on the top. And then I believe, notably, uh, Mr. Tardis Reviews' copy was left out in the rain. So Amazon just have really, without finding a better way of saying, really fucked this up, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, it's finally here. And I guess best not to dwell on bad things because it's finally here and it looks absolutely beautiful. Let's get it out of the cellophane. <laughs> So, taking it out of the cellophane, we can better see the artwork for this set, but designed by the incredible Lee Binding, who I've come to realise has done a lot more than just the collection Blu-ray box sets and the steelbooks. He also did the art for the Series 7 poster, notably, but I was looking back at some of my books, and a lot of the cover designs on the books from, like, 2008 onwards were also done by Lee Binding, which look incredible as well. So, it's just great to have more incredible artwork by Lee Binding, who is probably one of the best Doctor Who artists we've got at the moment. Uh, I love this sort of design. I love the colour palette choice for this season as well. I love the pinks and the purples. I really loved when they used a similar colour palette for season 18 and sort of in season 23 as well, which is another one of my favourite seasons. So I'm very excited about this series. I know it's not necessarily the most popular series, but um, I quite liked Time and the Rani and what I've seen of it. So I'm looking forward to seeing this again. But here we've got Doctor Who, The Collection, Season 24, that new 12 logo, 8 disc set, which is quite impressive given there's only 4 stories here. You've got a preview of what the artwork will probably be on the back of the box set. On the spine you've got the Season 24 and the 12 logo and BBC logo repeated. You've got this lovely shade of blue, actually, I really like this. I remember seeing it when Lee Binding got his, presumably, production copy. I remember seeing it, I thought it looked really nice. So it's a nice sort of, I can't remember, it's sort of a very ocean rain blue i think is the best way to describe it and you see it's got all 14 episodes newly restored for blu-ray and packed and it is indeed packed with bonus features probably the most bonus features of any of these sets just ever ever <laughs> so far and you've got a preview of what the art on the book that will be and you've got continue your doctor who archive with the ultimate collector set list of the stories including time of the rani paradise towers delta and the bannerman and dragon fire so i've never seen paradise towers before so it's gonna be interesting seeing that one again a list of the bonus features which i'm sure you could pause if you wanted to have a look at them and of course it includes all the special features previously released on other dvds and so forth also starring sylvester mccoy bonnie langford and sophie aldred it is a carbon neutral product which i quite like i'm quite pleased that they've done that so yeah that is a look at the sleeve if we remove the sleeve you get to see the full clean artwork which i'm sure is very very exciting taking a look at this you can sort of see these sort of bubble things which i think are these sort of bubble traps from time of the rani i think i've only ever seen time of the rani once i do i did enjoy it though I, I know it's not got the greatest reputation but we've got the seventh doctor holding his spoons there looking very quiet i like the light nice touch of pink lighting on his face there as well and the way the shading was all there as well. I just think it looks, it really pops this season. I've got it as my phone background at the moment. We've got a tet trap. I love the tet traps. They're actually, I really think this is an underrated monster design, not gonna lie. I really think it looks great in the show. I think it still holds up as well. 
Oh, I just love the tet traps. They're adorable. I got the dragon from Dragonfire. R the Rani, who I keep thinking will return in the new series and never does. Got, I think that was Brett Breyer's character. Again, I've never seen Paradise Towers. I think this is from Brett, Paradise Towers as well. And this, I think, is from Delta and the Bannerman. I can't remember who he is. You got these sort of nebulas and stuff on the towards the bottom as well, making him for the usual incredible artwork by Lee Binding, which I just love on all these sets. On the spine, you can see the top half of the artwork sort of printed there at the top. Although I have to say, um, I'll show you later, but I think they've kind of like not, they keep, they, you can see little bits of the other characters cropping up at the top, which I don't think is necessarily the best look. I much preferred it when they just sort of had the colours fading up there, but I don't know if there's a reason for that or not. But yeah, you got Blu-ray disc, Doctor Who the Collection, Season 24 once again. And then of course you've got that lovely artwork on the back of the TARDIS being shot at by the Rani, I think, as it travelled to Lakersha. And fun fact, I did actually re-listen to um, Doctor Who the Last Adventure before this morning to get in the mood for this, so I'm very excited about it. It is of course upside down, but you can obviously turn it this way if you want to see it. The proper way up, I guess. And then we'll have a look at the discs inside. On the inside, you can see this lovely artwork from, I think, Paradise Towers, where the Doctor and Mel are standing out in the sort of junkyard. Could they be missing Doctor Who episodes? I don't know. But here we have the discs. They're all very cleverly designed as to be like the bubble traps that I really love from this episode. And I quite associate with this story. Um, we got the Seventh Doctor looking absolutely fabulous in that Colin Baker costume, which I adore. I know no one else does, but I do adore it. We've got a couple of tech traps looming in the background as well. It looks absolutely lovely. And we've got this one, which is Mel, trapped in a bubble, uh, which I love because this actually happens to her in the episode. She gets trapped in one of the bubble traps. Here you've got Sylvester McCoy and Brett Bryce's character, I think. Don't hold me to it. I remember when season 23 came out and I got... Was it? Who was it? It was the person the inquisitor i couldn't remember who she was and i said it was the person from earthshock the woman from earthshock i can remember neither of their names now so yeah i got disc two which is paradise towers Ooh, hang on it looks like mel is being attacked by some angry knitting needles there and then we got the delta and the bannerman part one i noticed they keep on calling these part one instead of disc one, etc. So I'm wondering if this is just, if they've split the stories across, but they're all quite short stories, so I don't know why they do that. We've got a lovely picture of the Seventh Doctor and Mel there. And then you've got the other disc for Delta and the Bannerman with the strange screaming child, which looks like she's from Children of Earth. And then we've got this disc, which is the Dragonfire disc one, which has got a quite a fond farewell disc for Mel. And then I think this is the final disc. Yes, it is. And it is it is Ace, who looks like she's joining the TARDIS for season 24. And behind this disc is Sylvester McCoy, looking very covered in silver paint there from the opening titles of the season 24 titles. I don't think they changed across the entire seventh dot. Oh, that's not good. There's a mark there, actually. That's not... I don't know if you can really tell, but if you look there... There is a mark where the glue has clearly had to be reattached, which doesn't thrill me. Oh, it's there too. About the whole dip. Oh my. You know, I mentioned that thing about disc trays being loose. This one is actually loose as well. Thanks a lot, Amazon. So yeah, and this happened with my season 26 set as well. So Seventh Doctor is clearly jinxed for me. So I'm going to have to reattach that as well. So... I am never ordering this set from Amazon ever again, and I advise none of you to as well. But yeah, anyway, that looks very nice if it wasn't for the disc tray falling out as well. I do really love that the TARDIS door, as usual, opens up to reveal inside that lovely artwork, which looks like a movie poster. Like, no joke, it looks like a movie poster. We've got this exciting product list, which I don't think has changed since I last got one, although there are some other things that I'll have through that in a minute. Um, but if you open this up, you get the booklet, which again, we'll have a look at that in a minute. And then you've got this lovely artwork of Colin's outfit and he's regenerating. He will regenerate and we love. And we've got the exercise bite still there from season 23 as well as the TARDIS is just sort of exploding and Miller's unconscious because the radiation 
And there you can see the Rani's palette as well. Oh, I love this. I just, I hope this is what the menu looks like as well. Oh, uh, because that would be incredible. Look, removing this, we can have a look at the two booklets which have been. So, first up, we've got this Doctor Who products guide, which is mainly the same. We've got a lot of stuff for the Seventh Doctor, as this is the Seventh Doctor, so that makes sense. We've got a subscription leaflet for Doctor Who magazine, which I highly recommend. It's a great magazine. Some very Seventh Doctor heavy. We've got the figurine collection, the Ice Warriors. Ace is just chilling. Um, and then you've got stuff for, like, the Escape game and the lonely assassins oh and time for which i'm gonna see this was a great book i've actually reviewed it and um, we got some merch from zavi so zavi is laughing at me because i always say zavi's awful and then this time they got it like three days early and i don't think anyone's copies from zavi arrived broken if you want it kablam it or zavi it in this case i guess um We've got Seventh Doctor here, this is the booklet. We've got the Ice Coves from the Dragon Fire, it looks like that is the Dragon's Breath, I think it is called. You've got Mel there, Seventh Doctor, you've got Ace. And then on the back, we've got three lovely... Oh, I love this. This I love that they do this. These are little publicity photographs that they got signed from the BBC office. And obviously, if you fold it all out, very hard to do, one-handed. You get all one picture, which is just lovely. I love that. I love that they did that. And it kind of reminds me of the Tetrap Caves as well. Obviously, you've got that famous cliffhanger <laughs> of the Seventh Doctor actually hanging off a cliff as well. And you've got an introduction to season 24. I mean, I've noticed that the standard edition ones have cut a lot of the page. Oh, my. This is just disc, disc one and two. In fact, no, that's just disc one. My Lord, you can. That's disc two. That's disc one. We really are being treated. I mean, the packaging may be falling apart, but I'm definitely looking forward to diving into this lovely lot here. Truly a monolith of content right here. Um, but yeah, this is Time the Rani, disc one. Just disc one. So you've got some incredible stuff here. You've got the episodes, the updated regeneration effects, audio commentary, isolated score, info text, making of documentary, deleted scenes, behind the sofa, casting featurette, seventh doctor audition tapes. Oh, that's exciting. Location featurette, visual effects featurette, visual effects footage, title sequence featurette. I, I, if I go on, we'll be here forever. <laughs> and then you've got not that much on disc two, but it's more than made up for by how much is on disc one. And you've got the lovely picture picture of Sylvester there, J and T with Sylvester McCoy and Bonnie Langford there. And you've got a picture of Kate Mara and a lovely bit of artwork for Time the Rani, which, I mean, I've only seen it once, but I did think it was really underrated. There's some really great publicity photos in here and they've really gone all in with this set particularly with time on the run <laughs> like of all the stories to have that much bonus content i did not expect time on the rani paradise towers got, oh that's nice i love i've always thought it's mysterious how these cleaning rock bots are always out to kill people got that picture of sylvester mccoy winking from the title sequence delta and the bannerman but yeah, I'm I'm shocked at how much is it on the, the time of the Rani disc. I genuinely am. Kat Ken Dodd, of course, who was in the series. Got Delta and the Bannerman there. And then Dragonfire, the last story, which we obviously see. Say farewell to Ace. Oh, not Ace. Mel. We say hello to Ace in this one. And you've got Mr. Milty Face as well. And Sabalom Glitz, as well as poor Tony Selby must have had the shock of his life a couple of days ago when everyone thought he was dead. Um... You got, of course, him about to do a cliffhanger. <laughs> I love this. This is a lovely, another sort of very cinematic looking poster there. And that's, that brings us to the end of the booklet. Again, I really love how much effort they put into these booklets as well. So yeah, that's the actual box set. Should we have a look at the set on this shelf? So here we have it, the collection shelf. And I'm about to push in season 24. And as you can see, it slides very snugly onto the shelf. And you can see... All nine sets. <laughs> nine sets, which apparently means we're like one third of the way through, I think. I'm not sure. I didn't. I read that online. And I think that would include a, a Wilderness Year set. I don't know if we'll get that or not. I could see it maybe happening, but I don't know who you'd put on the cover, though. So I don't know. Uh, you got this season 24. I, I've noticed the pictures have been gradually getting bigger. <laughs> on the spine but yeah i mean this is what i mean by like if you look here you don't have any monsters whereas if you hit you've got brett Barrett's head just peeping out i mean i don't mind if they do this which is the full artwork sort of there 
I mean, although, can you see? Seal is kind of peeping, but it's not too, no it's not as noticeable as just seeing Brett Breyer's hat. I mean, they did this with season eight. I mean, I kind of got it with season eight because it's the master and it is like, master is like a big part of season eight. But like, I would kind of prefer it if we returned sort of this sort of look with no monsters and just that colour peeping up like on Peter Davison there. But yeah, it looks great on the shelf and it's lovely to have yet another collection set and it looks like the set is really growing. Like, I mean, look at this, like, I mean, classic Who's 26 seasons long, but like this easily looks like some normal show's complete season. I mean, because most shows don't run more than 10 seasons, like that is a lot of TV right there. So yeah, it looks great on the shelf. Love a good shelf montage. Yeah. So that's season 24. So that's season 24 and God help me when season 25 comes out, probably blown up, but I mean, with the disc tray falling out and and the the extended wait time, I can't really, I mean, I could, I, I think the idea of the disc trays falling out is something that I'm worried about with all my sets because particularly with the standard edition sets coming out, they look a lot sturdier and I am genuinely terrified that I'm gonna, like snap out a disc tray or something like as I mentioned I think in the season 8 review I have a friend who snapped out a disc tray um just like flicking through it so I am um, I'm terrified to even just flick through the discs so I mean I don't know I mean the lot the limited edition packaging is just is stunning it is stunning don't get me wrong but I am leaning more and more particularly with this towards the standard edition sets I mean what I may end up doing is just wait for them to come down in price, but this is starting to make me feel even more anxious about it. But yeah, that that's that's just that's just the life, I guess. But yeah, I mean, with the Amazon problems as well, didn't help. But I mean, it's a lovely set, and I'm finally glad to have it. I, I'm a bit disappointed by some things though, to do with Amazon and to do with the packaging structure. But otherwise, other than that, the amount of special content going into this set is incredible particularly for a story like time of the rani which i just didn't expect um all the quality that i've seen in the trailers i haven't seen any episodes yet but that all looks stunning too uh it just it's just gonna be so much fun i mean i love this sort of very fun era of the show very 80s era of the show i really love season 23 and i love what i've seen of season 24 no matter what people say about it i don't think it's anywhere near the worst season of classic doctor who but yeah i'm looking forward to um, look, get, delving into this even if the disc tray falls out while i do it but yeah that's my review of season 24 i can't wait to see what's next there hasn't been another set announced which is quite unusual we usually know by now but i mean hopefully we don't end up having another long gap like we did after season 14 but either way I'm just happy we're getting these sets because they are still incredible despite their flaws. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you consider subscribing or liking this video. Tell me your thoughts on season 24. Uh, did you get this Blu-ray set? Have you had any problems with Amazon or sort of the structure of the sets? But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely evening slash day slash night.